Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to turn off fast startup in Windows 10. This also works on Windows 11. I tested it. It's the exact same way. So you can do this on Windows 11 also. So just want to let you know on that. Um, this is basically shutting out fast startup for Windows. And if you scroll, you see I wrote an article on it here. I'll put the link down below. But fast startup is a feature in Windows 10 that helps your computer start faster after shutting down. Basically, it leaves the Windows kernel memory going. So it makes it start quicker, but I'd like to have my system shut down all the way when I'm turning it off. So I'm going to show you actually how to do that. You can look at this on my article. It tells you the definition. This is from Bing. I found on Microsoft Bing, so that's where it is. But um, we're going to get going here, and like I said, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we come out with every week. All right, let's show you how to do this. So on Windows 10, what I'm using, so you're going to go down to the search bar at the bottom, and you're going to type in C panel, because we're looking for the C panel, which is the control panel. Click that, and then it's going to open up your control panel. And then you're going to look at hardware and sound. We want that to be our next choice. And then when you get in here, you're going to look in the middle, and you're looking for power options, which is right here. And you're going to go down to the middle one, which is on mine's middle one. Change what the power buttons do. I'm going to click on that. And once you click on that, it's going to bring up the, the power options here. And you're going to notice if you look under shutdown settings, it's going to show you turn on fast startup. And mine's unchecked, so I don't have it on, but they recommend it. Of course they do. Um, we're going to show you actually how to turn it on and off. So if you wanted to adjust this area, you have to go up to the top here and hit click on the change settings that are currently unavailable. So we're going to click on that. And that's going to pop this up. So now you have the option of checking the box or unchecking the box. I unchecked it. Obviously, it wasn't checked because I already did this. Um, but you can have it on if you like. And it does, I guess it does make it faster. But if you have a pretty good computer, it doesn't really, you, you won't notice the difference. But that's what they want to do. So I don't like it on, so I uncheck the box. So uncheck it or check it, whichever you like. And then you just go down to the bottom and hit Save Changes. And then once you do that, it's done. And it flips to this screen. I have no idea why. You can go back to the left menu and choose, um, let's see, right here, choose what the power buttons do. Click on that again, and then you'll notice it's not checked. And actually, let's do it one more time so you can see it checked. So I'm going to check it, and then hit, click Save down at the bottom, and then go back to that option, and there it is. It's checked, but I want that turned off, so I'm going to do that now. So <laughs> I don't want it on. So I'm going to save that again, and there. And that's how easy it is to do this um, on the Windows 10. It's the exact same way on a Windows 11 computer. So you're not, it won't be, you know, any different. So you can follow this on that one too. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you turn off fast startup in Windows 10 and 11. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.